Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in a 20, 2013 study, Agnes Gidna, um, okay, okay, compared the feeding behaviors of wild lions in Tanzania's Tar Tarangire National Park with those of captive lions in Spain's Cabars Cabarceno Reserve. Okay, okay. So they're comparing the feeding behaviors of wild lions with the feeding behaviors of captive lions. The researchers noted that previous studies focused on other carnivores have shown that providing animals with food at regular intervals, as is common in captive settings, so for the captive lions in Spain's reserve, um, may inadvertently facilitate the development of novel, stereotypic, purposelessly repetitive behaviors by reducing the need for a high degree of cognitive... Okay, let me read that again behaviors by reducing the need for a high degree of cognitive engagement with the environment that makes sense uh the researchers were therefore not altogether surprised to find that okay uh -huh. so can you explain to me what's going on here so basically these scientists were comparing wild lions somewhere uh with captain captive lions uh uh somewhere okay. else that's what you care about yeah mm -hmm. and they said that in other studies, they were able to see that captive lions can develop um, purposelessly repetitive behaviors because why they know. That? Why do you think is that though? Um, Basically, the captive lions are getting dumber and dumber. Why? Because they don't need to think; they just know that the food's coming. That's it. Exactly. And how do I know they're getting dumber and dumber? This is basically a formal way of saying it. By reducing the need for a high degree of cognitive engagement with the environment. They don't have to think, man. They're right. being given food easily. So they mm. do dumb stuff, right? The stuff that doesn't matter because basically they have nothing else to do. I mean, it kind of applies to humans as well. It's funny how we're all the same. When human beings, let's say when they're unemployed for a long time period of time and you know, let's say they're um, someone else feeds them or uh, money comes to them uh, from somewhere, right? They don't have to earn it. They don't have to make it. They're cognitive. It's so true. <laughs> okay, uh, this is going to sound bad, but I hope just know that I don't mean anything bad, okay? Okay. Uh, but it's just the reality. It's just the reality. Like people who, who, um, who are lazy, who just are fed at regular and <laughs> just like these lions, they just end up being dumber and dumber, man, because they don't really have to think a lot because in order to make money, you have to think. That's fair. You have to think and you have to act and you have to be courage and you have to try different jobs. You have to do X, Y, Z. You'll understand it. I mean, you're, you know, young now, you don't have to make money, but like when you go, let's say when you go past 25 plus, you're going to have to make money, right? You're going to have to start thinking about it. Uh -huh. Right now you're what, 17? Yeah, I had a part-time job for a little bit. There you go. Even now you're, 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 you, you did something to make money, right? So it requires effort. It requires effort, right? So uh, anyhow, now, but people, you know, let's say over 30, uh, same thing, exact thing happens to people, right? They start doing stupid things and they become less and less smart if that makes sense so you have to stay sharp and to stay sharp you have to work you have to put effort same mm -hmm. exact things is, is happening to lions here now you're given four choices okay you're given four choices and you have to find a choice you have to pick one that basically proves the researcher's argument from the previous study it says the okay. researchers were therefore not surprised to find Aha, uh -huh. so it has to be something that proves what's going on here. Does that right. make sense? Yeah. Okay, you chose, I'm not going to look at the other choices. Let's just do the ones that, the one that you picked. Okay. You chose C. Let's read that. Okay. You're saying that when caretakers place food in boxes that were cognitively demanding to open it. So mm -hmm. that means the lines have to be smart. The captive lions showed repeated behaviors similar to those that wild lions show when stalking prey. This doesn't make sense, Jad. Why? Because 
they're saying that they get dumb, but the wild lions are meant to also be also get dumb. No, exactly, exactly. They're saying that these guys get dumb, right? But the mm -hmm. wild lions do the same thing. So there's no no difference. But the researcher is saying that there is a difference. So you have to pick a choice that shows you that there is a difference. This is basically making everything look like the captive lions just act the same as the as the wild lions. Yeah, which isn't true. Uh huh. Because that makes sense to you. Why C is incorrect? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're actually going to go through a bunch of these choices because it's act it's quite interesting. The questions like these are quite interesting. These are my favorite because. They test your understanding, right? Right. Not, not just some stupid English connotation. I don't honestly. It that that stuff is so useless. I don't know why they put that on the SAT. Yeah. I'm be quite frank with you, right? It it just annoys me when they do that. Um. Okay. So. Let's let's look at B. Can you read okay. this? Uh huh. So during feeding episodes, captive male lions showed much more aggression than did wild male lions, whereas female captive and wild lions showed similar levels of aggression. Hmm. So what do you think is going on here? I think that they've gone off topic. They never talked about aggression, and they never talked about female or exactly. male. Yeah, yeah, good job. No, good job. I'll give you that. Yeah, that is off topic, man, because well, we're, not this, we're not comparing genders. This is comparing right. genders, right? Hmm. And, and, and also, we don't really care about these feeding episodes and, and the behavior. It's, yeah, this is kind of irrelevant, right? So, yeah, good job. Mm. Uh, for, what about D? Okay. So, captive lions showed a stereotypic behavior of pacing in their enclosures as feeding times approached, whereas wild lions showed a stereotypic behavior of pacing before embarking on a hunt. Okay, um, never okay. Well, this one would be wrong because it's kind of like C. They're saying that they're both the same. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's it. That's it. And and nothing much is is happening here. Now let's let's read C. I'm gonna get you to read C. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, A rather. Okay. And tell me what's up here. So, bones from carcasses provided to captive lions showed signs of extensive gnawing but beyond the point of nu nutrient extraction, whereas bones from prey hunted by wild lions did not. What does this really mean? What are they trying to say here? They're trying to say that the, the, the novel stereotypic behavior that they developed was gnawing beyond the point of nutrition, nutrient uh, extraction. Yeah, but what does that mean, Chad? Oh, <laughs> oh, <man. bad. laughs> this guy. <laughs> what does it mean, man? What's going on here? So we kept on saying that they got dumber, right? So why would you want to gnaw beyond the point of nutrient extraction unless you're dumber? Like you have to get dumber to do that. I, guess. I like that. I like that. I, well, in simple English, I was I was just gonna ask you. Yeah, I mean they not on these bones. Um, yeah, like when there were no nutrients left, they just kept going. Like, why? You should stop, mm. right? Because like the f food is, it's done. It's almost like buying it like, like, a, I don't know, like a jar of peanut butter. Um, and like eating it when it, there's nothing in there. Yeah. That's just a waste of time, right? Yeah. There Makes you sense. go. So this proves that, you know, the captive lions actually will become dumber than, than, um, than uh, wild lions. It is a mm -hmm. good question, is it not? Yeah, for A, I remember reading A, and I was just thinking, like, I don't know why this came to mind, but uh, I keep realizing that in English, when I read something, I bring my uh, uh, beliefs on the topic into consideration when answering. Oh, I see. So I was thinking like, okay, if they're gnawing beyond the point of nutrient extraction, maybe that's like an aggression thing. Maybe they're like becoming more aggressive than the wild ang uh within the wild lions, which I don't know why. That that's just that's just what came to mind. I see, I see. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, but try to uh leave that knowledge aside, right? Try to just just focus on that because this is all you need. Yeah. This is all you need. And it even shows you, it says purposelessly repetitive. Uh-huh. 
that means not smart, right? Right. 